Hey everyone, Ben Brandt here. Uh, this is kind of a big night for me. Next to me here is my programmable box joint jig. So think of Matthias Wandel's Gear Advance box joint jig, only uh, computer controlled. We've got a Raspberry Pi running in here, some custom wiring of my own. This whole thing is driven by a stepper motor and a couple limit switches. And uh, we're gonna try this out for the very first time. Uh, because it's a box joint jig, I have to run it over the table saw and cut a slot through the middle, and that hasn't been done yet. This is uncut. I've been developing this thing for months. I'm really excited to see if it works. We're going to see how it goes. I'm pretty confident. I've done a lot of testing on this thing back in my office, tweaking the software, getting everything to work just right, and uh, I'm super excited to try this out. So, here we go. But as this thing is booting up, it's firing up the, uh, the Windows IoT operating system, and eventually it'll fire up my application, and when it does, the LEDs here will blink for three seconds to tell me that it's ready to go. Okay, the Raspberry Pi's built-in Wi-Fi has jumped onto my home Wi-Fi network, and it's serving up a web page, and that web page is how we control this whole thing. Let's make them half inch fingers over three inches. There we go, half inch fingers. Load that up. Now my picture is updated here. This is what the joint will look like. Here's the blade. And that is looking good. My carriage here is not in its home position. We need to slide that over. Here we go, scroll down, rehome. All right, we re-zeroed everything. This blue here is our stock that's gonna go into the saw. And you can see it's butted up to the right side of the blade here. So that's how we're gonna load up our material, is that's our zero point. This flexes a little bit, but should be okay. If it's a problem, we can make this out of a stronger piece of wood or metal. Now one thing you'll see here is there's two LEDs inside the case. One is a red light and one is a green light. Green light means I can push it over the blade. Red light means it's busy and I have to wait. So between the red and green lights, this will tell me whenever I need to move it through the blade. Now to get this thing started, I've got it loaded up with my profile, I've got the kerf width put in there, I've got my stock loaded into the saw. Now I have just need to come down here and say start cutting. You'll see the blade moved in the picture and the carriage moved on the jig. So I'm actually ready here and it says here, ready for cut number one of 18. But uh, now I'm going to put the, <laughs> now I'm gonna turn on the saw and the vacuum and actually run this through. Okay, now since this is just a test, I've only got one piece here, but we'll pretend it's two. I need to cut the matching profile to fit into this one. So first thing we'll do is we'll load it up with our new piece here. We'll just take it, flip it over this way so the same side is against the blade. Move it up here, line it up against the blade, tighten it down. There we go, that's secure. So now that I wanna cut the matching profile, I don't have to create a new profile, I just have to take the one that's loaded and switch to the reverse mode. And now, 
all the fingers have become slots and the slots have become fingers and I could just load up the material in the same spot and go. We are off the table, ready to cut. Hit start cutting. It's moved into position and I'm going to head over to the saw and start making cuts. Now we'll see if they actually fit together. I gotta cut this piece in half and then see how well they, they mesh. All right, moment of truth. Will it fit? Oh, it's a little tight. Little tight. But that looks really good. A little finesse, we can make it go together. But I might have to loosen this up just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is freaking fantastic. I think if I just tweak my, my kerf width setting a little bit, we can make these just a little bit bigger. Or actually, well, I might have to think about this. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> God, I can't believe how well this fits. We are going to have some fun with this thing. I've got some interesting plans for future box joint projects and uh, stay tuned. So there's going to be future videos coming, uh, more information about how this thing works, how it was built. Um, if you've got questions you want to fire off at me, send them my way. Uh, we'll start sort of compiling a list of what people want to know. Um, I'll be working on, you know, more projects with this and we can go in depth on, you know, different aspects of it, the electronics the the build itself the the mechanics you know all that good stuff uh but i'd say as a first test this this is this is really promising so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in see you next time <laughs> i've been working on this thing for so long you have no idea how satisfying this is